In this video, I'm going to show you three incredible places to visit in Queensland, specifically in tropical North Queensland. All these places are near Cairns. If you're planning a trip there, this is the perfect video for you. And if you're looking for inspiration, this is also a great video because there are some amazing places to visit in Queensland. And this is just three places which are pretty close to each other. So that's why I wanted to make this video. So if you are watching this, keep watching to the end. You don't want to miss any of these places. Right, let's jump into it with first place on the list, which is the Great Barrier Reef. Now, if you haven't heard of the Great Barrier Reef, I'd be surprised, but it is a very famous reef. It is the largest reef in the world. So the Great Barrier Reef is the single largest living organism in the world. It spans a total distance of 2,300 kilometers from the Torres Strait in the north all the way down to Bundaberg in the south. So it is massive. There's over 1,500 species of fish, 400 different types of coral, and 200 types of birds and 20 types of reptiles. So it's a very, very, yeah, there are lots of different life forms which inhabit the reef and it's fascinating. The Great Barrier Reef is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it's listed as one of the seven natural wonders of the world. Around 10% of the total world's uh, species of fish can be found in the Great Barrier Reef area. So yeah, really, really amazing place to visit. We went with a tour company called Passions of Paradise. Highly recommend them. They were really great. They do a lot for sustainability and making sure you see the reef in a sustainable way. It's really fascinating talk as well on the way back and learning about the reef. That was one of my highlights. The boat wasn't too big, so there wasn't too many people. With Passions of Paradise, the food was amazing. Uh, we had a delicious lunch, which was like a buffet style lunch. Yeah, the boat was a catamaran, which was awesome. It was really steady. We were very lucky with calm waters. The actual boat ride out is about an hour and a half, two hours, which is different to the west coast of Australia. You can go to the Ningaloo and actually swim out to that reef. It's called a fringing reef and that's amazing. But the Great Barrier Reef is something you can't miss if you go into the region. Amazing staff on the Passions of Paradise. And I think it's really good value. I'll put a link to their website below so you can see what the price is depending on when you're watching this video. When we went, I think we got a lot of value from the day. So add that one to your list, it's well worth it. Okay, so number two on the list, which is not too far from Cairns, it's an island called Fitzroy Island. I hadn't heard about this island. My partner, Rach, recommended it. And I'm so happy she did, it was unbelievable. It's about 29 kilometers off the coast of mainland Australia, Cairns. It's not a long ferry, I think it's about 45 minutes. It's very tropical, so it's between the 24 degrees to 31 degrees mark all year round. So you can visit at pretty much any time, uh, except for wet seasons, I would time it right. Um, when we went, it was a really nice time of the year, beautiful sunshine, we didn't have any rain when we were there. But yeah, one thing to consider with a tropical climate is the rain. There is somewhere to stay on the island. And if we could do it again, I'd probably stay on the island because the ferry is pretty expensive. The ferry was something around 90 to $100 return. I can't remember exactly. I put it up on the screen. But if you stay overnight, it kind of makes the ferry worth it. And you can maximize it. Of course, you've got to pay for the accommodation, but it's beautiful. You can do it in a day trip. Uh, it's really, if you get the first ferry in the morning, you can go there. We did a beautiful hike to the summit, walked down to the lighthouse and did some snorkeling, but it was pretty rushed because we had to get the ferry, I think it was around 4 p.m. in the afternoon. So we would go, go, go. It reminded, it reminded us of Rotnest a little bit. If you can afford to stay overnight there, I would recommend it. I kind of wish we did that. We were on our big lap, so for us, we were budgeting, but if you're watching this and you can do it, you could spend, a, we met people on the island, just talking to them hiking, and they're doing two, three days there. So um, there's lots to do, some epic snorkeling and hiking. There's a turtle sanctuary there as well. Uh, you can do glass bottom boat tours. So if you don't want to get wet in the water, you can still see the reef and um, the corals and all the fish and everything. Uh, we saw some turtles near the, um, we saw a turtle near the dock, which is pretty, pretty awesome. So yeah, we'd highly recommend it and it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, there's restaurants on the island as well. So we had lunch there, really nice lunch, uh, good food, at uh, a reasonable price seeing as you're on Fitzroy Island. And um, yeah, you can easily spend a couple of days there. I'd probably say two days, but if you are 
time or budget conscious, you can do a day trip and that's what, and that's what we did. There is also Green Island, which apparently on a clear day you can see from Fitzroy, but Green Island's another island, we didn't go there, but it's really Fitzroy or Green Island. They're the two main ones off the coast of um, Cairns. And yeah, there's lots of videos on YouTube. I watched lots and we decided on Fitzroy, mainly because Rachel's always wanted to go there and it was unbelievable, so. Big thumbs up from us and yeah, would highly recommend it. The third place to visit in the tropical North Queensland region would be the Daintree Rainforest. Wow, this is incredible. So I would say this is the number one place to visit. It's unreal. The Daintree is the world's oldest surviving rainforest. Just to put that into some context, it's 130 million years old, which is quite incredible to go visit somewhere that, that it's that old and still surviving and thriving. Yeah, it's millions of years older than the Amazon and it's prospering thanks to continuous uh, rainfall and humid climate and it really is a special place to visit. Uh, so the average rainfall sits around 2,000 millimetres per year but it has reached up to 9,000 millimetres per year. So more than 60% of this rain occurs during the wet season which runs between December and March. So just be aware of that, probably best to avoid it during those times unless you really like the rain but the road going in you have to cross a ferry to get into the uh, to get higher up into the into the dane tree um, you can drive around you can do four wheel driving at the at the top um, but we got a ferry over so i'm not sure if that shuts down or if the roads are too bad it's just something to, to consider so we started our adventure at mossman gorge it's very famous and absolutely beautiful you can park in the visitor center. There's some really good information on the history, culture, uh, and all the facts about the gorge and the rainforest. Um, you can get on a bus from the car park. It's quite expensive. I think it was $15 return from the top of my head. It was something around that, that mark. Again, I'll put it up on the screen. Um, so you park your car in the car park and then the bus takes you to the area. You can walk along that road. I think it's a few kilometers and depending again if you're budget conscious or you fancy a walk in my opinion it's worth paying the money for the bus because the road gets pretty narrow and you've got big buses coming along there so it's not the most relaxing walk in the world so i'd recommend the bus if you can afford it um, if not you can park there and walk if you want to uh, but you can't drive up and park near the walk only buses can actually go up there yeah, absolutely beautiful forest walk. The gorge is unreal uh, and it's, there's a nice loop trail. You can go over some bridges um, and yeah, it's really beautiful. And we even saw a small pig on the rainforest floor walking around, sniffing. And yeah, there's obviously an abundance of wildlife um, and it's really, really special to see. So that's where we started our adventure. Then we jumped on the ferry. It's a chain ferry. You pay for a return ticket across the main kind of river going in and then you're in the main bit of the Dane Tree. So we drove all the way up to Cape Tribulation, which is one of the most famous points uh, in the, the Dane Tree because that's where two UNESCO World Heritage Sites meet, the Dane Tree Rainforest and the Great Barrier Reef. They both kind of coexist and it's quite incredible. It's the only place in the world you can see two UNESCO World Heritage Sites exist. We stayed at the campground there there is absolutely no swimming because there are some massive saltwater crocodiles. There is a resident saltwater crocodile who lives there. So we could walk from the campground and go say hi to the crocodile from a very safe distance. Yeah, absolutely no swimming. Yeah, and it's quite an incredible experience to just to go under the rainforest canopy. There's lots of walks around there. So you can do lots of boardwalks and yeah. Keep an, oh, keep an eye out for tree kangaroos. We actually never saw one, but you know, we were, our necks were getting sore from just looking up the whole time. Keep your eye on the tree canopy, keep your eye on the tree floor, obviously watch out for various animals. Okay, so that wraps up this video. That was three amazing places to visit in tropical North Queensland. If you have any other recommendations, leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.